The FAA investigating bombshell claims from a new Boeing whistleblower. The employees saying engineering issues could cause some Boeing planes to break apart. Our transportation correspondent Gio Benitez joins us now with those details. Good morning, Gio. Hey, Robin, good morning. Yeah, that whistleblower says that for years he's tried going through all of the proper channels within Boeing, but now says he's going public. This morning, the FAA is investigating claims from a Boeing whistleblower who says there are engineering issues with 787 Dreamliners that he says could cause the planes to break apart after decades of use. One of his biggest claims that parts of the plane's fuselage are being fastened together improperly. That engineer, Sam Salapour, speaking out overnight. I'm doing this not because I want Boeing to fail, but because I want, I want it to succeed and prevent uh, crashes from happening. Salapore has not yet provided any documented evidence, and Boeing is firing back in a lengthy statement, saying in part, these claims about the structural integrity of the 787 are inaccurate. The issues raised have been subject to rigorous engineering examination under FAA oversight. This analysis has validated that these issues do not present any safety concerns and the aircraft will maintain its service life over several decades. In 2021 and 2022, Boeing slowed production and stopped delivering 787s for nearly two years because of these exact concerns. Boeing found a solution and the FAA signed off on it. Deliveries resumed in 2022. But Salapur's lawyer says these fixes are not enough. They claim that they've done extensive testing and analysis, but haven't shown it internally to Sam or the other engineers. So we have no reason to believe that they're correct. We don't know what facts this whistleblower has presented to the FAA. Boeing says that these issues were taken care of years ago. So right now, the onus is on the FAA to tell the flying public, is this a new problem or has it already been dealt with? Boeing has vowed to change its quality control after that door plug flew off the MAX 9 plane in January. The company having to defend itself on all sides just yesterday announcing its lowest quarterly plane delivery in nearly three years. Meanwhile, the whistleblower will be going to Capitol Hill next week to testify on all of this, and that's when he says he'll provide the evidence.